Australian actress Toni Collette has been giving excellent performances for decades, but she's become more popular among American audiences in recent years due to her roles in Ari Aster's Hereditary and Ryan Johnson's Knives Out. She is known for her raw, affected performances, and she's earned numerous awards, nominations, and critical accolades over her extensive career. She isn't afraid to tackle dark, emotionally evocative scripts, and her ability to immerse herself in her characters makes her one of the most talented actors working today. Here are 10 things you probably didn't know about Toni Collette. As a child, she faked appendicitis so well that doctors believed her. When she was 11 years old, she exaggerated a stomachache to get out of going to class. With some pre-existing knowledge about the presentation of appendicitis from her mother, who had her own appendix out at age 11, Colette was so convincing that doctors proceeded all the way to surgery and she actually had her perfectly fine appendix removed. She worked in theater and appeared on Broadway. A Sydney native, Colette started her career in theatrical productions and transitioned into film. Starting at the Sydney Theatre Company in the 1990s, she built an impressive theater resume which led to a role on Broadway in 2000. Her role as 1920s Wild Thing Queenie in The Wild Party earned her a Tony nomination for Best Leading Actress in a Musical. She returned in 2014 to star in Will Eno's The Realistic Joneses with Michael C. Hall. Her breakout role Her breakout role was in the 1994 film Muriel's Wedding. Colette underwent an extreme transformation, gaining 40 pounds in just seven weeks for her role as the socially awkward Muriel Heslop. For the role, she earned her first Golden Globe Award nomination and won the AACTA Award for Best Actress in a Leading Role. She turned down the lead in Bridget Jones' Diary. In the years following her breakthrough in Muriel's Wedding, Colette appeared in a number of independent films and on stage. It was while she was starring in the musical play The Wild Party that she was approached to play Bridget Jones in the 2001's Bridget Jones' Diary. Despite the fact that she would have been perfect for the part, she passed up the opportunity because of her commitment to the Wild Party and because she didn't want to be typecast in films. She vowed to never alter her weight for a role again after In Her Shoes. Ten years after the extremely rapid weight gain and subsequent loss she went through for the film Muriel's Wedding, Colette was asked to gain 45 pounds for her role as Rose in the 2005's film In Her Shoes, directed by Curtis Hansen. Afterward, she said she'd never do it again. She told The Independent, Curtis wanted me to gain 45 pounds, but I just couldn't do it. I will not put on weight for a film ever again, it's too hard. This is the last time. It takes a long time for your body to recover. I was having milkshakes every day and lots of pizza and pasta with cheese and wine. But the hardest thing is not exercising. If I don't try to keep my muscles strong, I start to sprain things and feel unhealthy and it is tough losing the weight. She wrote a children's book. Colette added author to her list of achievements on September 1, 2008. She partnered with author-illustrator Emma Magenda to write a children's book, Planet Yawn. According to Booktopia, an online bookstore based in her home country of Australia, Planet Yawn is a charming and imaginative bedtime story which can be read on many levels. On one level it is a whimsical story about Naughty Yawn, a boy who won't share, and on another it is a gentle, non-didactic exploration of the environmental issues that face us. She's a singer. Colette is the lead singer of Tony Collette and The Finish, and her husband, Dave Galifassi, is also a part of the band. In 2006, the group released one album, Beautiful Awkward. The album, featuring Colette's soft vocals on songs reminiscent of coffeehouse indie music from the 90s, is a collection of tunes she wrote herself over 10 years. She married her husband in a Buddhist ceremony. Colette and Dave Galifassi wed in a Buddhist ceremony in 2003. Previously, in a 2002 interview with The Guardian, Colette talked about her spiritual leanings, saying, I'm not Buddhist but I am drawn to it because it seems the most beneficial of organized religions and the most compassionate. It's an ongoing journey for all of us. The wedding reportedly included a vegetarian banquet. Working on Hereditary may have been the hardest job of her life. Playing such a complicated and layered character in Hereditary took a toll on Colette and her mental health. Before taking the role, she really wanted to do a lighthearted, funny film, but once she read the script for Hereditary, she knew she had to take it. She told the rap, When I read this, I had this feeling of, oh, I'm gonna have to do this. It was an undeniable compulsion. It was like I had no choice in the matter. Playing a character so entrenched with grief and anger, however, it was a challenge, as she said, it was deeply draining. I think that is when I really started hitting the gym. 
It's the first time in my life I just knew that I had to literally move energy out of my body. This is the film where I learned how to take care of myself as an actor. In the past, I would just fling myself in with no concern for my health. Philanthropy is a passion. According to LookToTheStars.org, Colette supports upwards of 13 different charities spanning a number of causes. In 2014, she was named the first global ambassador for Concern Worldwide, a humanitarian organization dedicated to eliminating extreme poverty around the world. She traveled to Haiti in 2014 to see Concern Worldwide's work after the devastating earthquake there. In 2015, she sponsored a fundraiser for the organization, helping to raise money to keep children's education going during an Ebola outbreak in Sierra Leone and Liberia.